word tendonitis literally means inflammation of the tendon. In practice, more patients present with problems related to wear and tear of the tendons around the ankle. In the ankle, there are different groups of tendons to consider. At the back, the best known is the Achilles tendon. On the front, there are tendons which lift your toes and ankle up. And there are other groups of important tendons on both the inner and the outer sides of the ankle. The problems that a patient gets with tendonitis around the ankle vary according to which tendon it is. And that's one of the problems when trying to help. The best known problem is related to the Achilles tendon and patients often notice pain and stiffness classically when they first get out of bed in the morning. Things then ease up for a while and they can often do normal activities including sport that will tend to suffer for it the next day. One particular problem involves tendons on the inner side of the ankle. These important tendons help hold up the instep or arch of the foot and unfortunately the elastic can fail in those tendons with very little in the way of problem from the patient's point of view until they notice that their foot is changing shape. Tendonitis around the ankle can be caused by an injury and often the tendons on the outer side of the ankle are involved after a nasty sprain. This can mean the progress is slow afterwards. Wear and tear is another common cause of ankle tendon problems and we can't escape the fact that as we get older, the structure of the tendons becomes a little more brittle and attritional injuries are more common. In the Achilles tendon, this gives rise to pain and stiffness at the back of the heel. And with the tendons holding up the arch of the instep, the foot can even gradually change shape as the tendon starts to stretch out. Recovery after a tendon injury is incredibly variable. Some tendons will settle down quickly if the injury was caused by a sprain, for example. Others take many months to recover completely. Some tendons never really regain all their elasticity and strength once the wear and tear process takes hold. The thing to remember is that persisting with the physio exercises is important. Between visits to the physiotherapist if you want to get better properly.